Hey garden friends, I'm Nikki from Proven Winners Direct. Happy Monday. It is time for seven more amazing plant of the day plants. All of these plants are available this week at a great discount. You can purchase as many as you want at 35% off on Mondays from noon until 4 p.m. Eastern time. Otherwise, each day it will feature a new plant. We make it super easy for you to shop for our Plant of the Day plants. All of the links to the product pages are right down below. You simply click the link and it'll take you right to the page. There's a bit more information there and some additional pictures that you can scroll through. And while you're down there checking out the product pages, if you wouldn't mind giving us a like and subscribe, we will love you forever. So without further ado, let's get to the pretties. Our first plant of the day is the White Chiffon Rose of Sharon. We have some beautiful white blooms still on the plant. These are very long blooming Rose of Sharons. They are a little slow to wake up in the spring, I will say, however. So if you're planting this fall and all of your perennials and your other shrubs are starting to show signs of life, in your, if you're in an area like us where all of our plants go dormant, um, give, be very patient with your Rose of Sharon's. They're usually the last to wake up in my garden and every year I tell myself I'm not going to do it, but every year I'm like, eh, I might've lost it. I haven't. So these guys are super easy to grow and they're a beautiful showy shrub. They have these massive white flowers that'll just continue to grow that are super showy, especially at night. If you have a moon garden, it's a beautiful touch for that. They grow anywhere from eight to 12 feet tall and six to 10 feet wide. So they are gonna take up a, a large amount of space. They love the sun. You cannot give them enough sun, but what's nice about their big, big stature is that you can prune it. They bloom on new wood, so you never have to worry about sacrificing blooms if you wanna kinda of trim it to keep it to size for the space that you want it. It's just a really showy shrub. White Chiffon, Rose of Sharon. Next up, we have a very cool shrub that you probably have never seen before. It's the Interstellar Lily of the Valley shrub. So it's very similar in terms of blooms as the Lily of the Valley that we all know and love, but this will not take over any space. <laughs> so it has these ruby colored bell shaped blooms that cover, there's hundreds of them on this shrub. It gets to be about three to four feet tall and wide. And one of the coolest parts about this is that you can grow it in the sun or the shade. So if you're looking for a pop of color and you don't have a whole lot of sun, this is a really great shrub for that. And to make things even better, this is one of the earliest blooming shrubs out there. This blooms far earlier than like spring even breaking. So it's gonna bring this amazing pop of color to your landscapes way sooner than anything else. And with the new growth on it, it's got this beautiful reddish hue to it that really sets it apart. So there's a lot of cool, interesting things about this really fun shrub. Obviously, I'm holding the quart side. This is the size we have available right now, um, but it's gonna go dormant very soon. And then in the spring, all of that time that it's spent establishing its roots, it's gonna put on some really great uh, growth for you in the spring. Interstellar Lily of the Valley Shrub. Next up, we have the Chiclet Orange Tacoma, which is this beautiful orange that you see here in front of me. Now, if you love a trumpet vine, but you don't have the space to let it wander, Chiclet Orange is the answer. It has those amazing orange trumpet-shaped blooms that will cover the plant. And it only grows to be about three to six feet tall and two to four feet wide. So it's nice and compact, has more of a column habit. So it's a really great container plant if you're looking for a container plant that has that tropical feel. So the chiclet orange is only hardy in zones 8 through 11. So this is one for my warm climate friends. However, if there's those of you in the cold climate like me, this is a great patio container plant to use as your thriller. They are very, very long blooming. They're very easy to grow. They attract hummingbirds and butterflies and they resist deer. Super great, tropical, fun-loving plant, Chiclet Orange Tacoma. Next up, we have the Summer Wine Black Nine Bark. If you are looking for something that's a really great contrast in the landscape, this is your guy. They are hardy in zones three through seven, and they grow about five to six feet tall and wide. So they do take up a decent amount of space, but they have this amazing, striking foliage. 
The summer wine black is actually the deepest, darkest foliage that you can get on a nine bark shrub. So if you're looking for that stark contrast, like especially in a lighter colored house, I have a white house, I feel like it would be beautiful in front of a white house. These guys are super easy to grow and care for, but you do want to make sure that you give it enough space. It does like some constant airflow. Anything too close, it's going to struggle a little bit. So lots of space and lots of sun. Summer wine black nine bark. Next up, we have the Sweet Summer Love Clematis. And if you've been eyeballing clematis and not sure where to start, this one is a very good first choice. It has everything that you want in a clematis. The flowers, the fragrance, and it's super easy to grow. These guys are gonna grow anywhere from 10 to 15 feet tall and six to 10 feet wide. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have some space. They love the sun, but something that I found with clematis is you, they, they like their toes in the sand and their hair in the sun. So make sure when you're planting it that you're gonna put something in front of it that's gonna allow a little bit of shade on the roots. Another thing about most clematises, especially Sweet Summer Love, is that first year that it's planted in the ground, it's really conserving its energy on root establishment. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of growth. The next year, you'll start to see it take off and bloom really pretty for you. So it's one of those shrubs that you kind of have to be a little patient with, not instant gratification, but it's oh so worth it. Sweet Summer Love Clematis. Next up, we have the Spirit 2 Invincible Hydrangea. This is actually an improved version of the original pink Annabelle Hydrangea. It has stronger stems, bigger blooms that are an amazing pink. They age to a really pretty green in the fall, so it's a really nice showy shrub and they're pretty easy to care for. You wanna make sure that you at least give them a minimum of four hours of sun. If you're in a warmer climate, I do suggest a little bit of a reprieve from that hot afternoon sun, so try and put it in a spot where it's gonna take up that morning sun. As you've probably noticed, it does look a little rough here in the front. Most of our hydrangeas are well on their way to dormancy here in Southeast Michigan. So you're gonna see some spots on the leaves, leaf drop, all of the things, cause it's just getting ready to tuck itself in for the winter. I do wanna to mention too, with the Spirit 2 being that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, for every sale of the Spirit 2 Invincible Hydrangea, we donate $1 to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So just an extra added reason to purchase this beautiful hydrangea. Spirit 2 Invincible. Our final plant of the day is the White Album Winter Creeper. This is an evergreen shrub, meaning that it will not lose these beautiful variegated leaves. This is a nice showy evergreen because of the variegation. This beautiful white that kind of lines everything, and then you'll notice too, the new growth is more of a lime green, and as it matures, it gets that really nice deep green. So it brings a lot of color into a somewhat shady space, if that's what you're looking for. It can grow in part to full sun, so as long as it's getting anywhere from four to six hours you're good it stays nice and tidy and small a lot of evergreen shrubs have kind of a crazy habit that you have to prune a lot this has a nice consistent growing habit it only gets to about two feet tall and wide so it's a nice staple of a shrub that you can put just about anywhere tuck it in somewhere and it's going to give you that year-long color white album winter creeper That wraps up another episode of Plant of the Day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new or found something that you just can't wait to plant. As we mentioned before, all of these plants are on sale at 35% off, so it's a great time to add to your garden. Plus, it'll be less work in the spring. Happy planting. Mm -hmm.